You know, we know fall means cooler weather, and it also means kind of, you know, time to swipe out what's in our closets. Ellen Taylor sharing advice from a local fashionista on how to easily transition that wardrobe and also how to keep your closet organized. We are all ears, Ellen. Good morning. Ooh. Oh, good morning, Liz. Yes, it has been a morning filled with a lot of information, too. Uh, my friend Whitney Powell, she's got a, a blog and a, a big Instagram presence, too, blogger. Uh, I know we don't like the word influencer, but girl, <laughs> you are my go-to guide when it comes to everything uh, fashion and also doing it on a budget as well. My mind was blown by the tip that you just gave me. Um, we were talking about what can you uh, splurge on and then what can you budget with? And I said something about a black sweater. Where do you get those basics from? So my tip for shopping basics is I like to go into the men's section. So if you go to a Forever 21 or Nordstrom's or Macy's, go into the men's section. They always have more options. And those options also tend to be a little bit more budget efficient than the women's section. So you're telling me that men's clothes are actually cheaper. And you, you as a 5'10", beautiful, very, like, svelte woman, you're shopping in the men's section. Yes, for sweaters and kind of staple pieces like that, absolutely. They have more variety, they have different patterns and they typically give to the women's designs. And so I always get questions about where I get my pieces and a lot of times it's the men's section. Got it, okay, so now that's where you can save the money, shop in the men's section. But if I want to, if I'm gonna save for anything, what is that piece that I need to splurge on? So definitely invest for a fall coat and I really like long line coats. These are longer coats. And one coat I'm really loving right now is the camel coat. This is gonna be a really popular trend for fall. And this is great as a top layer piece. This is something that you can layer over a blazer like this outfit I'm wearing currently. So I'll just show you guys what that looks so like. So wait, even you would put this coat on even though you've got a blazer coat on, but you would, I see what she's, she, you're wearing it kind of like a cape. Oh girl, oh! She, there we go. Chic and friendly, and, and I like this. And now, do I always need to match my, my blazer with my pants? No, absolutely not. That's the great thing about suits and separates is that you get double the wear out of them. So these beautiful houndstooth pants and this houndstooth blazer is from Talbots. But I would wear this blazer separately with jeans if I wanted to just kind of go for a more casual look, or I can pair these pants with a more going out type of top. Interesting. And so again, there are different ways to do this as well. And uh, one of Whitney's tips in terms of when it comes to putting outfits together is to see them, right? Yes. I'm a very visual person. I have to see my clothes to remember that I actually have them. Yes. So I like to separate my closets basically by section. So I have all of my blazers, all of my skirts, all of my pants. And then as I'm building my outfit, I just go down my closet and start to build all of those fun men pick, mental pieces. Yeah, pick the pieces. So again, if you've learned anything this morning, shop in the men's section for those budget-friendly pieces and invest in a coat like this. I'll put all of Whitney's links to her blog, her Instagram, and all of her tips up on our website at q13fox.com slash. Ellen but for right now god I wish I was her size because I really want to steal actually I really do I just I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and hope that one day I'll fit into it okay all right thanks bye Liz back on over to you all right Ellen <laughs> thank you, you.